Is it possible to make money on the exchanges? Well, I want to show you a model I created called the Game Center to make money on football markets on, amongst other things, the exchanges. So some people trade on the exchange, others value bet. Both involve the same concept. We want to back at a higher price or lay at a lower price than the real odds or the fair odds and the proof being when the market converges into our price. So let's have a look at Atletico Madrid versus Manchester City. Tonight, who do I think is going to win this? Well, I have no idea. And anyone that professes that they do know a fair or real probability that beats the 1x2 market is likely a charlatan or a fraud. It's five hours before kickoff. There's been half a million traded on this market already. It's shaped by some really clever people. Instead, let's have a look at the secondary markets. Manchester City and both teams to score has a back of 4.3 and a lay of 4.7, but which is the real price? Is it the midpoint, the last price match? What about Atletico to win both halves? That's not even available on Betfair. Smarkets have it up 19.5 to back, 55 to lay, pennies on either side, 19.5 last traded price. None of this is helping me at all. So I went out and created the Game Center tool. What we wanted to do was calculate the exact probability of every scoreline from nil nil to 2020, and then we can just add them all up to create the probability of the secondary markets. We wanted to add in a few more things like nil nil bias, probability distributions, team XG, uh, period time periods that we could split by, and critically, we wanted to hinge it against smart money so that when the markets move, our models adjust in real time. It's a hybrid model. So let's go back to Man City and both teams to score. Now we know using the available information, the fair odds are 4.454. Atletico Madrid is 30.31. So whoever backed at 19.5 has got a pretty poor price. Whoever laid got a good price. So the game center is like having a fully liquid exchange for benchmarking, decision-making, trading. To find out more about the ROI against expectancy over the last couple of years, check out the blogs below.